scoreless first half. These teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. Fighting his way through contact. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Come on, man. Let's do this. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here's Greer now on second down. Oh, nice move. <laughs> yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. They'll try the air now with Greer. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. He's got room at the 30. And finally marked down at the 23. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Back to throw, Greer. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Dawson Knox, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Dolphins have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Five plays there on that drive, and it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fielded just inside the 20. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And now a big play to start off this drive as the shot downfield is complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Dawson Knox, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. 
And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. This is first and 10. Jameis to throw it. Short pass to Howard. Escapes the defender. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Saints football as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. First down, Winston. And oh, he coughed it up. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession. No turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. A big play looming on third down. Again, it's Winston. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Christian Gonzalez. And the Dolphins are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. He's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Here is third down and four. Again, they turn to Ford. And he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. Throwing now, Greer. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. A play fake. Now Greer to throw. That one let go deep for Laporta. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. He gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told, but they're still looking at a fourth down. They snap it to Greer. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Dolphins! Dawson Knox, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Dolphins have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. And I guess the touchdown wasn't enough. They want the onside kick as well. And the Saints hands team able to rein this one in. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And 
I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually...